Oh guys, welcome back. We've got a little experiment to do today. The wind has been terrible for the last, well, best part of three weeks now. It's been blowing over 20 mile an hour, so it hasn't really been good for any testing. I want to do a bit more testing with the XTI. A lot of my pellets have arrived for that as well now. But what I want to do, we've got the Catran here today. I've been shooting the XTI off of my rolled up bean bag, and I'm actually finding it quite stable. Now, if you've watched any of the other videos before, do quite a lot of shooting off the little bipod. Now, I like these little bipods. They're super cheap, but they are a little bit flimsy. And on account of the Catran being as light as it is, it's actually the least stable of the lot. The XTI and the Anschutz both sit a lot more stable on the bipod than this little thing does. I've got here this little bench rest bag. It's got a little rear one here that's shaped to take the rear end of the stock, and that'd be the front bag. What I wanted to do today was actually test what is the best filling medium for these, be it sand we've got some rice and we've also got some cat litter so three common fillings and i'm curious as to which one will allow me to get the catran on here sat most stably now if the catran sits stably then both of the other anchors and the xti will as well so what we're going to do we're going to see if we can't chuck it everywhere big bag of cat litter about two quid not a lot of money at all got four bags of rice actually so this is just standard dried rice now this may work quite well do have a problem with that potentially if i leave these at the farm once they're filled up good chance that the mice might have a go at these and if i leave them outside probably the goat will end up eating those as well so i may end up having to use either the cat litter or got a great big bag of kiddies play sand and this isn't kiln dried sand so i don't know i haven't opened it up yet i don't know whether it's got any moisture content to it or not we're going to use it anyway today so it'll be interesting i'm going to try all of these we're not really going to be able to do much in the way of accuracy testing today but basically we want to just quickly see which is the most stable with the little catcher and so let's get into it and we'll start filling these up and see if i can't make a mess Right, so we need more rice. We've got four kilos of rice in there. It looks like you could easily get another kilo in there. So already you've got quite a lot of weight to lug around. I've just filled the rear one with the cat litter, as you've seen. That feels pretty good in there, quite compliant. It's filled them ears quite nicely. But, I don't know if you can see, it's puffing a lot of dust out. You definitely also want to um, put a bit of tape over the necks of these if you've got sort of cat litter or the rice, because although it's just got a Velcro seal, there's a good chance it could come out. So you definitely need to put a bit of duct tape over there to stop anything dropping all over your range. So what we do now, we'll get the old shooting mat out and we'll see how stable the Catran sits on these. Right, so on account of the rice being quite soft in that bag itself, it moves around an awful lot. Now granted, it's not fully filled at the moment, the Catran's got a fairly rounded forend. In fact, it's actually sort of the forend, the handguard section's milled from a tube by the look of things or sort of made from a tube. So it hasn't got a flat underside, which certainly works against it. Now, if we was to put on like a bench rest wedge or a flat block, we can certainly make it a lot more stable. But interestingly, I find it far more sort of comfortable and far easier to work around a card with the glove under the back end here and actually using the rear bag, supporting either side of the forend of the action itself. So. I think what we'll do now is refill the front bag fully with the cat litter. I think in a lot of cases, these little V's that are in the top of them, so that little V, it needs to be almost a little bit more aggressive like the ears on the rear bag. That would certainly make it a little bit more stable. So I don't know, we'll pack it out with the cat litter and we'll try again. But at the moment, that rice, as I say, not fully filled, but seems to not offer an awful lot of stability. The bipod's certainly better than that in any case at the moment. So this is pretty nifty, but I've already noticed that that cat litter's starting to settle in there. So it may be a case of we need to keep shaking that down and try and put a bit more in, but I don't like the fact that it keeps puffing all that dust out. All right, let's try the cat litter in the front bag.
Well, I've got cat litter in both now. I've managed to compact that in about as best as I can get that in there. The dust off of it is ridiculous. It's all puffing out the seams. I don't know whether you could probably try and fill a bag really carefully on the inside of it to actually contain that, but certainly this feels, see what it is. I don't really want all that all over my rifles, for sure. Right, that feels pretty good. So we've got the cat litter in the rear bag and the front bag now. Let's go and have a little feel, see what it feels like, eh? Right, so cat litter in both of them now. The cat litter is definitely more substantial up front. It's sort of compacted down. We'll probably find you need to top this back up again once it has all compacted down, but I'm really not too happy about the amount of dust that's puffing out of this one. It's everywhere already. It's all over the catrain, it's all over the back here. I've got a funny feeling that it might actually be better to have something like the rice in the rear one so I can actually move it a bit further around the card. Now, if you're shooting bench rest and you're only shooting at a tiny target, this would probably be all right. But of course, I'm moving around a card, group testing and things like that. So I need a, a much bigger range of adjustability as well as elevation, which of course I haven't got anything like that at the moment whilst the rear is supported. So probably still best to have the glove under the rear end doesn't feel too bad at all. It would be nice if the actual ears on this front bag were deeper. Same with the other one. If the ears were more like this up front. Although it's a little higher than I'd like at the moment. That actually feels way more stable on there now. And work your way around a car. You've got a ton of adjustability there. Hmm, interesting. Right, let's get this out. I don't really like all this dust. I think next thing to do then we'll try the sand in both of them i also want to do the sand up front but then i think i'm going to try the rice in the back so i think that may well just give me the compliance i need to be able to sort of manipulate the bag just to make elevation changes possibly so overall cat litter hmm, it'd be all right but i really don't like the dust i don't know whether it's just this particular brand that's a bit more dusty than others or not i'm not really um don't know an awful lot about cat litter to be honest but yeah, not overly impressed. Marginally better than the rice, but granted the rice we haven't fully filled, but I do think that the rice might be worth a try in the rear bag, so we'll get cracked on. Right, so I'm just refilling the rear one with rice. I'm compacting it in as I'm going. This actually feels now pretty good. It sort of feels exactly as I wanted it to, really. So it's got a bit of compliance. You can sort of squeeze it to manipulate it to adjust your elevation. That feels pretty good. Right, what we're going to do then, we're going to um, fill the front one up with the sand and we'll use this one with the rice in the back and then see how that feels. But that's got quite a nice bit of stability to it. It's a lot more rigid than the other one and it hasn't got that dust. I wish I'd never put the um, cat litter in all of this because the dust everywhere it was all puffing out the seams. It took a while to empty all these out, but that feels pretty good. So we'll try that with the sand in the front. Quite happy with that so far. Haven't tried it yet, mind. Right, sand in this one. Right, so I've just finally got that filled up with sand. This kid's play sand has a bit of moisture content to it, so I had to scoop it in instead of funneling it in. Not a real problem, but probably best now that this is filled to leave it in the sun for a little while, so it'll dry out. Now I could probably do with topping this up once I've used it a couple of times. It compresses down quite nicely. Now that probably weighs about six and a half kilos, something like that. The best sand is usually, the kiln dried paving sand, so it's got no moisture in it, it's been completely dried out. Now a lot of the bench rest shooters will actually use um, volcanic types of sand, so they're made from volcanic rock and it's a lot heavier and a lot denser and often a lot finer, so you can really compact it down, almost completely solid. However, this feels pretty good. I think definitely going to want to top this back up, but that feels how I want the front bag to feel and so far with the rice in, I don't think I want that any more rigid than that, so we'll go and try it now and see, see what we've learned. Well, with no surprises there then, that works really well. I quite like having the softer, more compliant rear bag, actually. I've just been able to sort of manipulate this. If I want to make an adjustment on the underside of the stock itself, of course, we haven't got much of a tail stock on here, if you like. If I had a little bag rider on it, it'd be even more stable. Obviously, with the sand in the front here, I've just moulded it around the fore end of the rifle itself. Actually, that works really quite well. That's definitely more stable than the bipod. But of course, bipod's connected to the rifle. If you're just going for a wander around back and forth, if I'm filming, the bipod's quite convenient. It stays on there. We've probably got eight kilos worth of bags here to lug about. So I definitely think for filming, and I definitely think for the XTI and the um, Anajuts, they're going to be way more stable than this is, purely because they've got flatter fore ends. I like this little rear bag. Definitely going to need to leave this in the sun for a little while just to get the moisture content to drop out and then top that back up. 
of all of the stuff we've used, the rice is great for the back. I think had we put a bit more rice in the front bag when we tested that, it would be pretty good. But definitely the sand, being that bit more compliant, that works really well. And actually because it's got a little bit of moisture in it, that's almost molded around the fore end of that stock very well. So definitely though, I didn't like that cat litter. That was awful, there was dust everywhere dust all over me it was all over the gun itself so i certainly couldn't recommend that but it might definitely be worth a try trying it with the old rice and then maybe the sand up the front so definitely learn something hopefully in the next couple of days the wind will die off a little bit and we can actually start getting some proper meaningful pellet testing done with the xti certainly a lot to do the hn8 they should be here in a couple of days as well so as soon as the weather breaks again we'll get a video done on those through all of the different barrels that i've got so have we learned anything today yeah quite like these little bags actually definitely more stable in this configuration than the bipod although of course it's got its limitations for carrying it around with the weight and everything else so certainly for the range testing and the filming i think we're definitely going to use this a little bit more so that do it for this one guys i'll see you in the next one